Once again, a very warm welcome back on this Monday morning to you on our Feel Good Breakfast Show. Now, this morning we are in for a real treat as we get to spend some time with uh, the indomitable and incomparable Ruby Wax. She's here in our studio and if you uh, are familiar with her, she's an American actress, a mental health uh, campaigner and author of uh, whose book called A Mindfulness Guide for the Frazzled. Helps Hi. you to notice your thoughts and feelings so that you can truly experience life and she'll be here with us for the rest of the morning. So if you have any questions about mind mindfulness, and how anything in your life really works. If you're worried about it, please give us a call on 083-9133728. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks. Taking time off your holiday to be here. Wow. I know. That's amazing. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. Because <laughs> usually, what am I doing? Exactly. Waiting exactly. to come on the show. You're sitting and watching us at home, you know, and now you're here. Ruby, it's so good to have you Thank on the you. show this morning. This is a particularly important question for me because I struggle with focus. But why is it so difficult for people to find focus when it we comes to their lives and even their state of mind? Well, you, you probably know. I mean, we never lived at a time like this, yeah, this where is everything is, you know, before you'd either be the popular girl or not, or you'd be a success. But now your whole life is likes and dislikes. Do you know what I mean? It's so, and every advertisement says, here's what you'll never have. And don't think advertisement, you know, they know what they're doing. And yeah. you have to hear the news all the time. I mean, we were never, our, our brain doesn't have this bandwidth, you know. So we're plagued by what's going to kill us next. Is it North Korea or too much salt? It's just, sure. it's constant incoming. And our little brains are capable of only so much. Yeah. So everybody tries to pretend everything's fine. Mm. And on top of that, we get caught in going, I'm really busy, like showing it off. Yeah. You know, we don't understand. Uh, again, you know, people come up to me and say, am I busy? I go, am I busy? I've had a quadruple bypass. Mm -hmm. They go, that's fabulous. You must be doing so well. We're showing off, you know, the very thing that's killing us. Oh, is that the way in which those stresses and uh, the stimuli that affect everything that we think about in the millions of neurons in our brains, is that the way that it manifests itself in our behaviors and our habits? Are we trying to just put forward a facade yeah, of course we're putting a, a, a facade because nobody talks to each other and goes, how bad are you? You know, yeah, I wish we yeah. lived in a world that said, I'm completely screwed. Wouldn't it be healthy like kids go, they just go, I hate you, you're boring. Couldn't that be fabulous? So we have to live <laughs> pretending you. everything's okay. It ain't okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, we have to learn some way. I'm not complaining about tech. You know, I love technology. Mm -hmm. Please. Yeah. Someday I hope a drone can come in while I'm sleeping and shave my legs. I'm dreaming of, or a virtual Brazilian, maybe. But the point is, how do we get the lid down? Because we're very addictive creatures. You know, if you put too much eye candy in front of us, we'll shop till we drop. Yeah. So the condition is, if something's open all day and all night, we don't have a braking system. Mm -hmm. You don't have to blame yourself, all human beings. If you put it in front of us, we want it. And if things never close, we go nuts. So I really got interested in this kind of stuff. And so. Because I was in comedy, yeah. mm -hmm. and my last show, I did it for 25 years on yeah. BBC, and my last interview was Donald Trump. Yeah. And um, yes, thank you. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did I should have done huh? something then. Wow. Um, <laughs> no, he be... put me in his private jet at 33,000 feet. Now wow. I'm with my crew, and he tells me the first thing he tells me is he wants to be president of the United States. This is 12 years ago, and I started laughing. So he said, land the plane. I want her out of here. So what? now I'm with my crew. We landed in Arkansas. I don't know anybody in Arkansas. And it's very dangerous. Well, thank goodness Jeb Bush wasn't there. Uh, it was, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the world was less scary then because I was so still crazy. laughing. Wow. And that's wow. when he still he had like the one nose head. hair and then he'd wind it around his head. This oh. is before wow. oh, my God. <laughs> the dead animal. But anyway, <laughs> then after yeah. that, I said, then I wrote, ap helped write Absolutely Fabulous. Yeah. And then I wrote this book. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, we're going to be catching up with that. Ruby Wax in a little bit. Of course, we're talking about, um, I want to ask about this thing called stress and mental health. And if everything that she was talking about with how overloaded our brains are has anything to do with that. If you have questions regarding focus and, of course, uh, anything you want to ask Ruby as well, give us a call 083-913-3728. But let's keep it professional, shall we? All that more coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. My Feel Good Breakfast Show.
right, back on the hot seat, Ruby Wax, TV personality and author of A Mindfulness Guide for the Frazzled. And aren't we all frazzled? We need some kind of lifeline out there. So if you've got any questions to ask about how to live a more mindful life, give us a call on 83 yeah? 91 We want to talk about this thing called stress. And a lot of people are going through stresses in this life. Is it, is it possible that what you were talking about, how overloaded our brains are with all of the noise, all of the stimuli, all of the information, that it's leading to mental health? problems that mm. it's leading to stress problems yeah but we use stress in a really lightweight you know yeah. way like oh yeah you know I'm run off my feet I'm with what does that mean you're running on your ankle stubs yeah. you know <laughs> what, what is it? we just use these but what you, you have to get it is such a lightweight word once it's it's a chemical in your head mm. stress isn't something that's happening out there yeah it's man of it's the reason you go into a red mist is something actually is happening yeah. And if you let it keep going, and there's a reason why now in society we can't shut that floodgate off, yeah. is it leads to, I don't want to be depressing in the morning. No, 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 this is good. Stress, We're learning from yeah. this. Stress breaks down your immune system. And gradually, gradually, if you keep it up, yeah. it'll break down, you'll, it, it leads to uh, infertility, obesity, wow. premature aging, loss of memory, yeah. certain cancers, diabetes too. Yeah. You know, if people understood everything starts in the mothership. Yeah. The way you think affects your body. There is no mental and physical. It's the same thing. So if you don't care about stress, believe me, it'll get you in the end. Wow. So, so wait, this is my mind, right? Yeah. I, I, I'm in control of the mothership, you know? Yeah. So why yeah. is it You're that, not that, in control of the mothership. Okay, that's the question I need to yeah. Why is that floodgate remaining open and all of these stresses are coming through? Why can't I just go <laughs> today? Okay, do, do you have a few minutes? You got yes, go, we go, do. Go. So, you know, let me just give you a little history of your brain. In the past, you know, the, re the way we were made, you know, the original manufactured human was perfect. Mm. This thing worked perfectly in the environment. We were completely suited. So if a predator came along, okay, we'd get this hijack of, let's call it stress, cortisol and adrenaline, we'd need it. So either we'd scram or we'd take it on. Yeah. So if we were either after the incident, we were either lunch or we were having lunch, and that stress would come down and we'd go back to grazing, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever we were doing. The problem is if you keep, now we're stressed whether something's behind us, yeah. like a predator, yeah. or something's happening 20,000 miles away, our yeah. brain can't tell the difference. Yeah. So if you start, you know, talking about what happened with Angel Angelina Jolie or whatever, I'm getting, it's nothing to do with me, but I get an arousal. and. You hear bad news, it's constantly mm -hmm. being pumped in because humans, sorry to say, we're yeah. addicted to bad we news. Yeah. And we want more and more and more because stress feels really good. Wow. Adrenaline is real tasty. And yeah. so we even, you know, jack up the news so that we'll feel yeah. it even more. Oh, wow. Now we have to have some kind of breaking system. And we aren't human beings, we don't come with, it doesn't come with the package. So things like mindfulness, and there's other methods. This isn't for everybody. You have to learn to navigate the noise technology is only going to get more intense. So now we have to upgrade our minds as much as we've upgraded technology to wow. understand. You know, everybody's pumping iron, you know, and you don't get a six pack with one sit up. Now they know, I'm sorry, it's not, I didn't go to, you know, how to heal your inner elf weekend. I went to Oxford University, not bully for me because I really wanted to know. Mm -hmm. I don't want to burn out. Mm -hmm. So they weren't offering witchcraft at Oxford, they were offering this. <laughs> And so I turned it into comedy. That's the book is humorous, yeah. but it really is the real stuff yeah. about how do you get this thing down while wow. everybody around you is burning out. You're not going to stay like that because we're infectious. Yeah. But at least I can cool it for a few seconds to think clearly. I'm going to ask you to please stay with us because clearly there's a lot Ooh. that we can still learn from you. And please do give us a call if you've got any questions. 0839133728 is the number to dial. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's head on over to the kitchen right now. It's my feel good. All right, welcome back. It's a Monday morning and we are, whoo, man, we are infusing your Monday morning conversations around that cooler box or the water cooler at the office with a lot of mindfulness. That's why Ruby Wax is here. She's a TV personality and author of this very book that you see there, A Mindfulness Guide for the Frazzled. And we're asking you to give us a call on 0839133728, interact with us, and also taking your uh, questions on social media. Exactly. And yeah. if I may, yeah, uh, Rachel Mabatwani says um, that she's been suffering from severe depression uh, this past Easter. She wants help to calm her nerves and she says, um, I'm already having chest pains and they might lead to a stroke or a heart attack. I want to pick up the pieces and move forward with my life. So obviously not very particular what those stresses are, mm. but that's what she's saying after the Easter weekend. She's experiencing a lot of yeah. stress. 
How, what would your advice be? Well, to her? first of all, let me say there's a difference between stress and depression. Okay, yeah. you got it. Depression is a disease. It's yeah. sadly called depression because it means you're having a bad hair day. It's just like it's like Alzheimer's, yeah. right? It's the real thing. You wouldn't say to somebody with Alzheimer's, "Oh, come on, you remember where you left the keys." This she needs medication. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. If it's if it's anxiety, forget medication. It's the human condition or sadness. Mm -hmm. But depression, if you really have it, you can't get out of bed. Yeah. So for me, medication. You can't do mindfulness while you're, you know, when the mind is gone, what mind, you know, you can't be aware. Mm -hmm. So um, I think once, once she's, you know, back to herself, you have to go to the gym. I mean, everybody, you know, we're obsessed. In, you know, when I got to England, people were 20 years ago, people weren't even brushing their teeth. Now everybody's in the gym. Yeah. Same with your mind now. I mean, if you, glaze over and go really just wait wave, wave some uh, you know a crystal the point is in science you can either believe it or not if you're a mormon leave the room uh in science they know now it's called neuroplasticity yeah, yeah. um it that you can change your brain uh -huh. you can change it by changing the habits of how you think because we think when we come into the world that's how we're going to leave and now they know it's you're breaking a habit so some people really hold on to who they think they are. Oh, I'm a victim. I'm a bully. We aren't. We're wow. infinite things. Yeah. So you can switch tracks yeah. uh, if you exercise. It's an exercise. Nobody's going to give you a pill, yeah. and it's okay. Yeah. When did we think that was going to happen? Yeah. Let's take the next question that came that come from uh, Valdine Fortain, and she says, um, um, I, don't, I don't let anything stress me out. At the moment I feel something is bothering me <laughs> or someone said something to hurt me, I immediately deal with it. Uh, I never ever go to sleep with a broken heart. Uh, talk about what is hurting uh, is the best, or to talk about what mm. is hurting is the best thing you can ever do to deal with it. And uh, for, what, for Buntle, what's that for Buntle? Just take a deep breath and uh, be yourself. So, so let's just go off to, to Baldine, Baldine's comment there about not letting anything uh, that anybody says hurt her. What do, we, what do you have to say to that? Uh, never go to sleep. Okay, look, we're all different fingerprints. Who am I to say what your reality is? If everybody, she should not read my book, okay? Most people can't go to sleep, or a lot of people I know, because they're thinking about thinking about stress, about stress, about, you know, you get stress, we're supposed to. You know, we're built for it. Mm -hmm. But when you start thinking, I'm not good enough, nobody likes me, this is a new phenomena. I'm gonna get caught, which I'm thinking now, and you're probably thinking, um, you know. Th these self-doubts. Yeah. Yeah. I could talk about for hours why we have them. We have them. If she got away with it, forget it. She's a lucky woman. Some people have church. Some people have community. A lot of us don't have church anymore, and good luck finding a community. Maybe in this country you do. So that's why we are so isolated. You know, the, the thoughts start going, this woman is blessed. I don't even know why she's on the telephone. <laughs> Go call her. Call Valdine. <laughs> ask her. Of course, we're talking to Ruby Wax this morning. She wrote a book called A Mindfulness Guide for the Frazzled. We're talking about mindfulness and talking about all of your concerns around that. If you have a question or a comment, give us a call. 083-913-3728. Then don't call. <laughs> Unless you're Valdine, then you, you're good. Call Valdine. <laughs> it's my feel-good breakfast show. All right, we're processing all that we've been learning from Ruby Wax this morning. We're talking about mindfulness and how this can help you manage your way through whatever is happening in your life, in the world, everything that's coming in and you're struggling to make sense of it. And we're also asking you to give us a call on 083-9133-728. We have a caller on the line. Uh, anonymous, good morning to you. Okay, so oh, we've we lost the, the call, but we do have the question, though. Yes. Um, if I may paraphrase, the, the caller was asking about being able to make sense of what is happening right now in our economic state in the country and yeah. how to work your way through those stresses yeah. that come along with it. I, I, you know, don't, don't let me negate what's going on here. Yeah. Um, the, but the first thing in order to deal with at an emergency situation is, and you can hear it on the radio, People, you know, we work like neural Wi-Fi. We're stoking up the anger. You have a reason to be angry. But if you let this go too long, you're not thinking clearly, yeah. and nothing can be done. Now, however you, Vel, Velma, she can do it, but you need to recognize that you're catching the infection of fury. Now, once you're in that state, you want to overthrow? Do you want to go violent? I mean, that's your choice. Yeah. But if you can learn to get that cortisol down and not go into that fight and flight state, then people can start to make decisions that make more sense. I'm not saying don't be angry, you know, it's a human condition, but don't feed on it. Mm -hmm. 
So again, every emergency, we can blame the ice cap melting, we can blame this politician, but the, your brain is in you. You've got to get it down and then you can outsmart everybody else. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, everybody, you know, you want to beat the next guy, you know, we're very competitive with each other, but you're going to burn out. Yeah. You can't keep up with that next guy. So if you can learn to get that cortisol down and, and pull the brakes back, you won't stay there. But the other guy will burn out. Now, when you go back online, you've got, you've got the clarity. Hmm. So I'm not saying you're not in an emergency, but you want to keep talking about it, that's not going to get you anywhere. Yeah. A lot more symbolism that's getting back online. Exactly, exactly. Now you've talked about it, bringing that cortisol down, yeah. getting to a place. What are the active processes? Because that's always my next question. Mm. You know, how does one actively pursue doing that? Yeah, for, first of all, it's recognition. Because yeah. a lot of us can't tell when we've left our tipping point. Mm -hmm. You know, like somebody, you get road rage and now you go home and go, do you know what this guy did? And you keep it going. Oh, Once wow. you notice, you know, it's the noticing. What it, you know, it's, it's like you almost want Fitbit to say you're about to get a heart attack. Oh, wow. Once you notice <laughs> that you're getting carried away in that cycle, yeah. then you do something about it. Yeah. So there's different exercises. Mm -hmm. You could do mindfulness. I did my, but it's recognizing that your thoughts have now gone crazy. The world hasn't. So with mindfulness specifically, I know it sounds kind of easy, but mm -hmm. here's the thing. It's like sit-ups. You have to do this every day or as much as you can. You hear the gabbling in your mind. Everybody has that. Mm -hmm. But if you take your focus from the, you're not good enough, everything's up, and you send it to any physical sense, it sounds really easy. Like if you start tracking your breathing or you just start listening to whatever sound there is, can't do it. Immediately the gabbling stops because wow. the, amyg the, the stuff that makes the cortisol, which is the amygdala, it, it, it is in your brain. It's, yeah. I haven't made it up. It starts to deactivate. And another part that just feels sense, senses, yeah. activates. So that means when the really stuff hits the fan, you have a muscle now that you can bring down. A kid, and I've talked about it in the book, for kids taking exams, if you cram them, they're going to screw up. Yeah. Mm. If the kid learns, and they're teaching it in schools now, to just get that red mist down, and they have like ways of teaching kids, yeah, but it's yeah, fun, yeah. they will do much better. Wow. So mindfulness, the act of mindfulness, is like, every, is like cognitive therapy. You see you're going over the edge. Yeah. And now you walk out of the room, or go run, but do something about it. The reason you do mindfulness is usually when uh, the boss is about to rip your head off, yeah it's hard to get a jogging suit on and run. But with mindfulness, you can do it in the situation. You, you can either, you know why, I think it's always interesting that Arabs hold those beads, because if you send the focus to what you're holding on to immediately, wow. you can't sense and think at the same yeah. time. Yeah. It's, you're tricking your brain. Yeah. But what you're doing each time, and you don't do it all day, is that a muscle starts to grow so that it's easier. If we get in an argument, rather than lock antlers, I can start to cool down. And by the way, it's infectious, so will you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ruby, thank Amazing. you so much for sharing your precious time with us and your expertise. And the book is now out and available. Mindfulness Guide for the Frazzle. There it is. He didn't get it right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Messed it up the first time, but there's always a next time to always try again. But time. Thank you so, so thank much. You. And enjoy the rest of your holiday thank in Cape Town. All right, I think it's time for us to take a quick break and let's find out what else you can expect on this morning's edition of your Feel Good Breakfast Show.